For over a century, scientists have been super interested in black holes. The idea started gaining traction around 1916 and has become a major puzzle in astrophysics. These weird things in space are where gravity goes wild and our usual knowledge just doesn't cut it. A black hole may be two to four million times heavier than our sun is still a big question mark even after a lot of research we've gone from knowing next to nothing to figuring out some details with new stuff being found all the time. M. Yakubu's recent discovery has some surprising info about what's inside. Black holes which might change what we thought we knew and give us new ways of looking at these space objects this new stuff could lead to deeper investigations into things we might have missed. Come explore the cool world of black holes with us and see what secrets are hiding in the huge universe. So what are black holes? Anyway, before we get into Yakubu's latest stuff, let's go over the basics. Most people have a general idea about what a black hole is, but some key things are still unclear. Back in 1916, Albert Einstein's big theory of general relativity said that black holes should exist, but it was just an idea back then. It took about 50 years for anyone to find proof that black holes are real. Things in space this happened in the 1960s when people were studying a star called X1, which was giving off X-rays people saw that those X-rays weren't moving randomly but were getting sucked into something really dense and Invisible this thing which turned out to be a black hole totally changed how we saw space. It was a huge deal because it proved that black holes weren't just in Einstein's head. They were real and mysterious and we needed to study them. More after this big fine scientists everywhere started trying to learn everything they could about black holes. They found out that our galaxy alone might have around 100 million black holes but it's hard to find them so that's just an estimate even though black holes are super hard to spot scientists think there are millions of them hiding in our galaxy which makes it even more important to understand them let's talk about how gravity works black holes have so much gravity that anything that gets close gets crushed into a tiny point called a singularity where the laws of physics don't work Anymore, basically, black holes are like giant space vacuum cleaners sucking. Everything in one of the scariest things about black holes is that if you fell into one, you'd get stretched out and turned into a singularity. Your body would be torn apart by the crazy gravity before you were destroyed. So it's best to stay far away from them, even though they're all over the place. The closest one is about 500 light years. A way which is still a little unsettling in 2021 scientists did something amazing and got the first clear picture of a black hole, the M87. Black hole it took a lot of nights taking pictures and putting them together to make one image. As they got more information, the researchers realized that black holes have three layers even though people think they're just empty holes. The first layer is called the event horizon, which is the point where nothing can escape if something crosses that line it's going. In the second layer is the photon sphere, where even light gets trapped because the gravity is so strong. Then there's the singularity where everything gets crushed into a tiny point. It's where reality breaks down and all the laws of physics stop. Working what's even cooler is that every black hole is different they all have. Those three layers, but they act differently that makes them hard to study because our usual science methods don't work. Scientists have to study them indirectly by looking at the radiation they give off or the gas and dust circling around them. You can't just send a probe into a black hole because anything that crosses the event horizon is going to get pulled into the singularity and destroyed, so there's no point in wasting. Billions on probes that won't send back. Any useful data that means researchers have to study black holes in two dimensions when they're really three-dimensional to make things even trickier. No two black holes are the same. 
When we study them, we have to remember that physics as we know it doesn't. Apply theories say that black holes might form when big stars collapse, when a star runs out of fuel it can't fight against its own gravity so it collapses into a black hole if the star is big. Enough this keeps happening until everything becomes a singularity. To learn more about black holes NASA, scientists looked at the center of the universe, especially the M87 galaxy, they saw a huge swirl of hydrogen. Gas spinning super fast like 1.2 million. MPH usually that gas would fly apart because of centrifugal force, but it stayed together. That meant there was something really big in the middle, probably a black hole. Scientists think this thing is about 3 billion times heavier than our sun. Another cool idea came from a new Zealand mathematician named Royer in 1963, he used Einstein's equations to describe how rotating black holes act. He said that instead of collapsing into a point, a rotating black hole forms a thin ring called the aerosphere. This spinning ring of stuff is important for understanding how physics breaks down near black holes. Royer's idea also said there might be an Einstein-Rosen bridge, which is like a wormhole that could let you travel through space-time to connect distant parts of the universe or even other universes to understand wormholes you need to know about space-time which is in Einstein's theory space-time is like a four-dimensional fabric that gets bent by heavy objects. This bending makes gravity which affects how other objects move think of space-time like a piece of paper if you fold it you make a shortcut between two points that shortcut is a wormhole away to travel through spaceme and connect far off places almost instantly wormholes are just ideas and we haven't found any proof they exist but they're a natural result of general relativity the thing is wormholes are unstable so they'd collapse if they were ever made still the idea of using wormholes to travel to different parts of the universe or even through time has Fascinated physicists for years one kind of wormhole called the CR wormhole has been especially interesting. It's named after Royer and it's a hypothetical wormhole that could connect two distant points in spacing maybe even different universes or timelines it would be awesome to use wormholes for interstellar travel or time travel but there are big problems for one wormholes are supposed to be unstable and the radiation and forces around them would make it almost impossible to travel through them safely. Some people argue that Einstein's equations are useful for understanding gravity but they don't explain the quantum forces that control radiation and tiny particles to really understand. Black holes and wormholes we need a new theory that combines gravity with quantum. Mechanics, this theory of everything is something that many physicists, including M. Yakubu, have been working on for years. One promising theory is superstring theory, which says that subatomic particles are actually tiny vibrating strings. These strings make up the universe's fabric and explain not just gravity, but also what happens around black holes and wormholes, but superstring theory also needs extra dimensions of spacing that are so small we can't see them with our current technology even with the challenges. Trying to understand black holes, wormholes, and space-time keeps scientists hooked and it could lead to discoveries that change how we see the universe continuing from where we left. Off the quest for superstring theory and other theories that aim to unite the forces of nature is a tough challenge but it might give us some insights into how reality works. These theories say that there's more to the universe than the three dimensions of space and one of time that we know. There could be other dimensions, but they're so small that we can't see them with our technology, but those dimensions could be the key to understanding things like black holes, wormholes, and other mysteries of space. Superstring theory gives us a cool picture of the universe saying that 
All matter and forces are just different. Forms of tiny vibrating strings these. Strings vibrate at different rates and each vibration makes a different particle, like how a guitar string can make different sounds depending on how it vibrates the basic particles of nature. Might be different vibrations of super strings if this is true it would not only give us one explanation for the fundamental forces of nature gravity. Electromagnetism, the strong nuclear force and the weak nuclear force but also give us a new way of understanding how the universe is built. This could answer some big questions in physics like what dark matter and dark energy are made of these things make up most of the universe's mass and energy, but we don't know much about them still. Super string theory hasn't been proven. Yet one problem is that the extra dimensions it talks about are so tiny that we can't see them to see these dimensions we'd need super sensitive instruments and even then the evidence might be hard to see that makes super string theory hard to test with regular science methods but it's a beautiful and logical theory which makes it one of the most interesting ideas in physics at the same time scientists are trying other ways to understand black holes. For example, quantum gravity is a field that tries to combine quantum mechanics, which explains how tiny particles act, with general relativity which explains how big things like planets and stars act. The goal is that by combining these two theories we can understand how gravity works on a tiny scale and learn more about black holes and other things. In space, the meeting point of quantum mechanics and general relativity is really important when studying black holes. Near a black hole's event horizon where gravity is super strong, we need a theory that can explain both quantum and relativistic effects. In fact, the inside of a black hole where the singularity is is one of the strangest places in the universe. The singularity is a point where space and Time gets so warped that the usual laws of physics stop working to understand what's happening there. We need a theory that can combine quantum mechanics and general relativity. That's why people are working on ideas like loop quantum gravity and other quantum gravity models which try to fix these problems and give us a better picture of black holes as we keep trying to figure out black holes. One thing is for sure, the more we learn, the more we realize how much there is to learn black. Holes aren't just points of destruction, but also places of complexity and possibility, whether they're gateways to other dimensions or the key to understanding. Time and space black holes are a really important thing to study as our tools, and theories get better so will our understanding of these mysterious Objects looking ahead, the next big thing will be to improve how we watch and study black holes. One of the coolest things that's happened recently is the development of gravitational wave astronomy. Gravitational waves are ripples in space seam that are caused by big objects moving around like when black holes merge by finding and studying these wave scientists can learn about black holes and other things in space in ways we couldn't before the detection of gravitational waves has already given us some big insights into how black holes merge and future experiments will probably tell us even more another good area to focus on is using advanced telescopes and imaging methods the event horizon telescope eht which took the first picture of a black Hole in the M87 galaxy shows how new technology can shed some light on black holes by combining information from many radio telescopes around the world. The HT was able to take a picture of the black hole shadow giving us a look at one of the most mysterious things in the universe.